it's Sunday night. The expo just winded down and we ended up at my friend Pete Memikos' house of custom reptiles and exotics. So this is Pete. He has Hi guys. a beautiful wife, Yolanda, and they do all kinds of amazing things. Tell me a little bit about it, Pete. Well, right now our focus is um, a lot of mammals and reptiles, which I'm pretty much known about. Um, but uh, we're working with a lot of species of marmosets, tamarins, lemurs. We also do kinkachus, we have tyras, uh, giant tortoises. And uh, this has been my love of my life for a long time. And I came from New York 10 years ago. Um, and decided that I couldn't really do what I wanted to do with animals uh, in New York. So I got some friends, Dave and Tracy Barker from VPI. They convinced, took them 10 years, but they convinced me to move. And here I am. I've been in Texas for uh, 10 years now. I live in Bernie, which is a beautiful hill country setting uh, in Texas, kind of like Texas' Texas's best kept secret for many years. <laughs> and uh, we have 10 acres and we're USDA licensed, so we have a lot of exotic animals um, that uh, most people don't get to see at the, at the normal zoo. Um, so right now we're looking to uh, move into a lot of tortoise, uh, turtles and um, crocodilians. Awesome. Show me a couple of your animals we've got in this room. Well, in this room we have red-handed tamarins, which are probably behind us looking at the camera. <laughs> um, this is Gigi right here, and Gigi is one of our red-handed tamarins. She's one of our first tamarins, and uh, she is actually a proven breeder, and uh, she has babies, uh, one of the babies in here, which uh, right now she, the rest of the guys are in the house. Um, the other thing that we work with is uh, common marmosets. And these are the marmosets over here, and um, they're also like tamarins, but they're just a little bit smaller. Uh, tamarins are about the size of a large squirrel, and uh, I would say marmosets are like the size of a, a small squirrel. Um, and these are commons, and they're very, very curious animals, um, always looking at something shiny or something new. And so do you reproduce these animals here at your facility, Pete? Well, pretty much that's our goal. Our goal is to uh, captive breed these exotic animals and provide them to the private sector. As we know, the zoos will not deal with us. So it's time for us to step up to the plate and allow the qualified people um, that want to work with these exotic animals, like marmosets, tamarins, uh, lemurs, and such. And uh, we're the kind of the people to come to. We've been doing this successfully for about 10 years here in Texas. And uh, we have a lot of future plans going on with construction and buildings that would be uh, more adequate for indoor-outdoor applications. Um, and we're presently putting in some ponds. Uh, we're looking to get into some crocodilians, and our first pair of crocodilians are going to be broad-snouted caimans, which are pretty rare and not seen in the private sector, so we're very excited about that new endeavor. That's impressive. Well, thank you. We're, we're looking <laughs> forward to, uh, to ex uh, exp you know, exploiting that into the private sector, because oh. these are animals that are very uh, desirable, and I'm sure that it will be a good sell item. Well, we can't wait. Well, I hope you luck in your future with your crocodilians. I appreciate and, it. Uh, tell us how the people can contact you to get some of these beautiful animals. Well, we do a lot of the, uh, the reptile shows here in Texas. I used to do them nationwide, but kind of welted down to Texas. But uh, you can reach us at uh, customreptile.com. Uh, and uh, we don't really advertise the animals, but we like to do private things with people, so you know, we'd love to hear from you. But you can also reach us at Mimikos1, which is M I M I K O S, the numeral one, at gvtc.com. Excellent. All right. Great to see you as always, Pete. We'll it's see you soon. It's a pleasure, and good, good luck.